Thank you for listening to our DEFCON Demo Labo. I'm Shusei Tomonaga from JP Sud. Our Demo Labo presentation today is about Marcon Scan with Cooker, a tool that automatically dumps malware configuration data. First, let's talk about why we want to create such a tool and its motivation. Sandbox is a great tool for malware analysis. However, we, the Mari analyst, cannot get what we want using the sandbox. We want configuration data. We need to get configuration data for static analysis. Why do we need Maria configuration data? Many variants of Maria code are almost unchanged and only configuration data is defined. If the configuration data is known, there is no need for static analysis. Configuration data contains important information that cannot be obtained by sandbox analysis, such as campaign ID, encryption key, C2 server, and so on. Let me introduce how a Maria analysis extracts Maria configuration. This is very simple, so everyone should remember this. First step, we analyze the malware to understand how to encrypt the configuration data. Then we understand the structure of the configuration data. Step two, we create a tools for extracting configuration data. That's all. It's very simple. For example, in the case of PlugX, in PlugX data, PlugX main module and configuration are encoded for original algorithm and LZNT1. All decoded, decoded data is injected into one process and running. PlugX custom encoding algorithm depending on the version of it. This custom encoding algorithm is used to encode keylog file, modules, and configuration data. Configuration structure also differs depending on the version. Plugx has a maximum configuration data of 0x36a4 size, it has such large configuration data is rare. Another example is TS cookie. TS cookie is very simple, use only RC4 for encryption. This pattern has not changed for about five years. The size of TS cookie configuration data is 0x8d0, which is the same as another normal malware. So, it is difficult to analyze a lot of malware in the same way. From this slide, I will introduce the tool we created named MalconScan. MalconScan is a volatility plugin that extracts configuration data of non malware. Volatility is an open source memory forensic framework for incident response and malware analysis. This tool search for malware in memory image and dumps configuration data. This is an example of Malcolm scan dumping red leaves malware configuration. You can see sheets server, encryption key, mutex, and user agent. This tool dumps different and configuration data depending on malware. Now, Malcolm can support over 28 malware. Malcolm can support most of the malware families reported in any run's top 10 threat report. So, I think you have a question here. Why use volatility? It is effect to analyze the memory dump. There are two advantages. First, no need to unpack. When extracting configuration data, it is not necessary to unpack malware. Second, no need to decode. 
because encoded configuration data may be already decoded on memory. You may be able to skip learning how to decrypt configuration data. In addition, this tool also dumps more than configuration data if needed. In addition to configuration data, it dumps decoded strings and DJ domains. This is an example of Malcolm scan dumps, dumping Bevlo malware configuration. You can see RSA key, bot ID, and DJ domains. Here is another example of Malcolm scan dumping Formbook malware configuration. You can see our C2 server and decoded strings. Microscan have another feature called MalSTR scan. MalSTR scan function can list strings the following process refers. Configuration data is usually encoded by malware. However, most of malware writes decoded configuration data on memory. This function lists decoded configuration data when possible. The strings command may list unreferred strings, but this tool only displays the strings referred to in the code, and this function can also display the heap area. If decoded configuration data is in the heap area, it will be displayed. Malcolm scan also supports Linux-based memory image. However, there are still few Linux malware that can be scanned. So it's the time. You can use Malcolm scan from command line. Set primary name and pass to memory dump file and OS profile of memory dump. Here is a sample of red ribs Maria used by APT10. You could find C2 server address, campaign ID, user agent, and so on. So let's move on to the next sample. This sample is a TS cookie, Maria used by Black tech. You can find the C2 server address and uh, encryption key, campaign ID, and so on. If you want to know more detail about the Malcolm scan, you can check out our wiki on GitHub. In this wiki, you can learn how to install and use Malcolm scan. Hello guys, I'm Tomaki Tani, the developer of Malcolm scan and Malcolm scan with Cuckoo. From here, I would like to show how to automate the Malcolm scan analysis. Malcolm scan alone cannot dump configuration data automatically. To automate the extraction of malware configuration, we've developed a tool that executes a Malcolm scan in Cuckoo Sandbox. Malcolm scan with Cuckoo is Cuckoo Sandbox plugin for Malcolm scan. The plugin adds the function to extract novel malware's configuration data from memory dump and then add Malcolm scan report to Cuckoo Sandbox. Okay, how it works. This tool uses Mal uh, Cuckoo's memory dump function to extract configuration data of executed malware from memory dumps. Here's a video we make to give you an idea how Malcolm scan with Cuckoo works.
Malcolm Scan with Cuckoo integrates Malcolm Scan into Cuckoo Sandbox. It enables extracting malware configuration in Cuckoo Sandbox. And let's see how Malcolm Scan with Cuckoo works. All you need to do is upload malware to Cuckoo. Cuckoo sends the malware into the virtual machine and execute it on the host. Cuckoo acquires the memory dump and send it to Malcolm Scan. Malcolm Scan analyzes the memory dump and extracts the malware's configuration data. Finally, the malware's configuration will be reported to Cuckoo. This DUI shows the Cuckoo's report of Malcolm Scan. In here, you can find the same result as we saw in the Malcolm Scan CLI interface. This case shows the report of Red Leaves, the malware used by APT10. You can find the C2 address, campaign ID, and traffic encryption key. Of course, this report is saved into the database. You could search and do some statistic analysis with it. However, we have to overcome some obstacles in order to make a better auto-analysis system. I think most of malware reverser have struggled with the anti-analysis techniques uh, implemented by the malware author. This is the same for auto-analysis system. For example, Earthsniff used to attack Japan has many kind of anti-analysis functions. If you have experience to analyze it, you have seen this pop-up. Okay. As you know, there are several types of anti-analysis techniques, and it is not easy to bypass all of them. Checking language systems, uh, system running time, total size of physical memory is generally used for these techniques. Also, checking virtualization is well-known techniques. In these techniques, malware call CPU-ID instruction and check the specific return value, or check some registry keys which, which hypervisor set up. And some malware checks the process names like Wireshark or Only Debug or Procmon. So how can we bypass them? Do we need to use physical Windows host for sandbox? And the answer is no. Let's bypass them by configuring our virtual machine. It's much more easier than preparing a physical machine. Okay, let's check some samples. This control flow graph shows an anti-analysis function embedded in Earthsniff Packer. Here, you can find four anti-analysis techniques. It checks CPU brand name, SCSI device name, uh, boot time, and debugger. Let's check some of these anti-analysis techniques and how to uh, bypass them. CPU brand name detection. Malware calls the CPU ID instruction with specified value on EAX register and get the CPU brand name as a return value. In this case, it is checking if Xeon is included in the CPU brand name. In many cases, Sandbox is, run, is running on the server and the server uses Xeon processor. It is calling CPU instruction direct and it is not easy to hook this call. So how can we bypass it? The answer is modify the virtual machine configuration. Here is a sample virtual machine configuration. In this slide, it is showing the sample configuration of VMware. It is not well known, but VMware allows you to modify the CPU ID response. Also, VirtualBox allows you to modify it. After send, uh, setting this configuration, you can find that the OS is showing the different CPU brand name. With this technique, uh, you can bypass most of the anti-analysis techniques using CPU ID instruction. 
Let's check another anti-analysis techniques. In here, malware is calling Windows API to check the device name. If device name includes VBox or, or VMware, malware will kill itself. It is possible to bypass with Hux the API, but it is more easy to modify the virtual machine settings. Here is a sample configuration. As you can see, you could also change the device name just writing few lines into the configuration file. You could do the same things for MAC address or CD drive name or BIOS setting, etc. etc. Here is our recommended setting for anti anti analysis. First, do not install VMware tools or VirtualBox guest additions. These tools modify so many settings and it makes it easy to detect the sandbox environment. Second is use local language operating system for virtual machine. Some malware is specified for regions and if you want to analyze these malware, use local languages always. Third is modify the virtual machine configuration. Especially, we recommend to modify CPU ID response, device name, and NIC setting. In most cases, we are able to bypass anti analysis techniques with these settings. Okay, uh, let's move on to the demonstration of Malcolm Scan with Cuckoo. Okay, here is the web GUI of Cuckoo. All things you need to do is submit malware and do analysis. Each analysis takes two to three minutes per sample. Okay, let's check the report. You can find the report in VM memory dump menu and click Malcolm Scan tab and the result will display. Here is showing some sample reports. This is Himari, the variant of Red Leaves. And this is TS Cookie, uh, the malware used by Blacktech. And Ursniff, as known as DreamBot, a very numerous banking trojan. And yes, that's all for the demonstration. If you want to know more detail about the Malcolm scan with Cuckoo, you can check it out or wiki on GitHub. In this wiki, you can learn how to install and how to use Malcolm scan with Cuckoo. And if you want to know more detail about anti-anti-analysis, we have written some articles and some config sample configuration on this wiki. And now we are developing a Malcolm Scamp, which supports Bolti T3. We have released the beta version on our GitHub repository. You could find this code in the Bolti T3 branch. We will finish the conversion as soon as possible. In Bolt ET3, you don't need to set the memory profile and also has a better support to Windows 10, so we recommend you to use Bolt ET3 rather than Bolt ET2. Okay, that's all, and thank you for watching, and we're, any feedback is welcome. Thank you.